Hey guys, how are you today? So today we're going to continue with our study of area and today we're going to learn how to measure the area of the figure that I have here on my table. What figure is this? It's a triangle. And what kind of triangle do I have? Well, let's look at the angles. And all of the angles are acute, so it's an acute angle triangle. Today we're going to learn to measure the area of a triangle. Now remember, when you measure the area of a rectangle, all you have to do is count up all of the squares that are on the surface. But are we going to be able to measure the triangle's area that way? No, because if you look carefully, there's lots of squares on the triangle that are incomplete. And if I have incomplete squares on my surface, then I can't just count them all up. But let's see how we are going to be able to measure the area of this triangle. Let me show you what I have. Here I have another acute triangle. And if you look at it, it's an equivalent triangle because it has exactly the same area. I'm going to use these two equivalent triangles to help me find the area of my triangle. I'm going to double the area of my triangle to make a square. Now that I've doubled my triangle, I have a square. And I can measure the area of a square by counting up the squares on the surface. Or I can do it an easier way by multiplying the squares along the base with the squares along the height. So here I have 10 multiplied by 10, which is 100 square units. That's the area of my square. But remember, my square has doubled the area of my triangle. So I have to take those 100 square units and divide them by 2. And 100 divided by 2 is 50. The area of my triangle is 50 square units. So the first way that we can find the area of a triangle is multiplying the base times the height and dividing it by 2. Base multiplied by height divided by 2 gives us the area of a triangle. But guess what, everyone? There's another way that I can find the area of my triangle. So once again, I have my acute angle triangle, and it's equivalent to this acute angle triangle. Okay? So another way that I can find the area of my triangle is by multiplying the base by half of the height. So I'm going to cut my triangle in half and I'm going to rearrange it like a rectangle. So now I have my base, which is 10 squares, and I multiply it by my height, which is now five squares because I'm taking half of my height and that gives me 50 square units. So another way to find the area of a triangle is multiplying base times half of the height. And that will give me the area of my triangle. So half of the height multiplied by the base gives me the area of a triangle. Half of height multiplied by base equals the area of a triangle. But guess what everyone? There's even another way to find the area of a triangle. So once again, I have my acute angle triangle and it's equivalent to this one. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply half of my base. So I'm going to bisect my triangle at half of the base, and I'm going to multiply it by the height. So I've cut my triangle at half of the base and I multiply by the height. 
So now I have a base of 5, and I multiply it by a height of 10, which gives me 50 square units. So another way to find the area of a triangle is by multiplying half of the base by the height. Half of the base times the height gives me the area of a triangle. Half of base times height equals the area of a triangle. And that's another way that you can find the area of a triangle. So those are the three ways that we can find the area of a triangle. Have a great day, everyone.